Hey Leo, welcome to your reading for July 2024. Hope this reading finds you well. My lovely Leo, this is a reading for Leo's sun rising and moon sign. <clears throat> if you'd like to book a private reading with me that is specific to you, you can follow the link below to my website and book that reading from there. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, giving me a thumbs up. It does help the algorithm. It helps to circulate my, my videos out there and it helps me to bring more of these videos to you. If you haven't already subscribed and would like to, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll know when I'm posting new videos for you, my lovely Leo. <clears throat> I've been meditating on your energy and Leo, I'm, what I'm hearing here for you in the month of July, gee whiz, it's like walking through a very barren landscape, walk, walking through a very barren landscape and thinking, oh, well, where to from here? You know, there's nothing that's going on around you. Uh, but I just feel like in that stillness, there's a, an awareness, a realisation, a new, a new way of thinking, a new, new ideas that come to you, new opportunities that come to you. And in that stillness, you, it's about taking that first step, bringing into existence what you're desiring, bringing into existence what you're looking for, what you're wanting, um, what you're wanting to uh, create in your reality is what I'm hearing here. It's about being sure-footed and confident. It's about speaking out, giving yourself a voice. And my lovely Leo, that's not an area where there's an issue here with you. Leos are really energetic and filled with ideas but prepared to put in the groundwork to achieve those ideas and that's very much where you're finding yourself in July so don't hold back understand take that first step the ideas and the opportunities will come to you the writing's on the wall here for you it's about really looking at looking at at looking at situations and opportunities but also looking beneath the surface because I feel like there's more to be explored it's it's what they're showing me here is like an archaeological site you know when you sort of scratch the surface and you might find a few trinkets or a few a few <clears throat> treasures but then it's about very carefully going beneath the surface to find more and that's really what is the metaphor for you really explore new areas explore take that deep dive into if an opportunity comes your way what more can it provide where can it take me how can I expand on this very interesting time for you in July I'm going to draw a card for you from my Lantern Oracle. Let's see what is what the message is here for you. So this is the, the sort of summary of, of what, what July holds for you. Then we'll take the deep dive with the Celtic Cross. <clears throat> Let's have a look at what, what the cards say for you. Let's have a look at what's been what's in store. Can I have a card for Leo, please? They're really so oh, there they go. Oh, you've got two. So I'm going to give you those. We've got two to explore. Great. And then we got the Divine Animal Oracle deck. This is your totem. This is your animal energy for the month of July. And here we go. Okay, there we are. <clears throat> so let's have a look. Let's explore this. Let's explore these. Okay, what have we got? First up, we've got moving forward. Absolutely, that's where you are. The first step is taken within our stillness. It's about being still, getting rid of distractions, get, get rid of what going, what's going on around you. And in that stillness, you take that step forward, even if... I just feel like even if you're taking that step forward and there's nothing that you can envisage, there's nothing that you can see at the moment, take that movement forward. And that You may take that movement forward by sowing some seeds, by talking to people, by putting your ideas out there, by letting, letting people know, networking, letting people know what you're seeking, what you're working towards, what you're wanting. Look at that sun at, in, the, in the horizon. So the sun is, is positivity. Leo, the sun is yours. Your, that's your that's your <clears throat> it's not a planet but that's your sign the sun Leo Leo sun 
take that step forward and look at that shadow. There's an eagle. So it's about looking at the whole picture, looking at it from a new perspective, moving forward. The second card that you've got is is voice. Yeah, speaking your truth, speaking, speaking about what you want. You are here to be known, so speak and be seen. And that's it. You see, this is what the first card was saying. It's about sowing those seeds, connecting with people, speaking your truth, talking about what you're wanting, um, dancing, dancing to your tune, finding that voice in what you're wanting to explore. It could be a bit new business, it could be in a relationship, it could be bargaining or negotiating for the purchase of something large. Uh, it could be um, work, a promotion or work, <clears throat> being seen, putting your ideas forward, not, not holding back but putting your ideas forward. So your totem, what have we got here, is the goat responsibility no sorry reliability that print is so small reliability the goat is reliability look how grounded that goat is it's it's grounded it's it's being reliable being personal responsibility that word just keeps coming up for me it's about being reliable being solid having ideas and really moving forward with on solid ground so you're finding solid ground with your ideas i like that let's create the celtic cross <clears throat> let's see what's there okay let me create some space whoa wow okay let's do this then i've thrown it all out all at once well i like these cards too <clears throat> gee whiz that really flew out didn't it a whole lot of them so, and we've got a whole lot here too to explore. So we're going to leave those over there and we'll have a look at those as we're needing to. <clears throat> okay, so let's start with the Celtic cross. So with the Celt Celtic cross, you've got first up the nine of wands. The nine of wands, this is about processing, coming to a realisation of what it is you're wanting to achieve, what ideas you have, what really ignites that fire in your belly. This is absolutely your sign, the wands, feeling passionate about your movement forward, understanding that it may be a time for you to just just take a break, stop, be still for a, a while while you collect your thoughts, you identify your journey, identify where you want to be moving to and, and how far you want to go. This is an upward journey for you. It's an upward journey because you've also got temperance and temperance is about peace and harmony. It's about let's find that balance, let's find that peace. Let's avoid, it's about avoiding distractions, really collecting yourself, um, not being rushed, not being hurried, looking at opportunities from every angle, processing, processing. And so, you know, it's crossed with the star, which is about looking at things in, different, in a different perspective, in a different light, looking at things holistically. What's the big picture here for you? What's the big picture here for you? Again, there's this water pouring over. This is, this is balance, emotional balance, tranquility, peace, changing your perspective, looking at things from a different angle, from a different light, looking at things, you know, when you're up high, you can see the whole picture. You can, it's about looking at things and changing your perspective of how you see things because what's going on here, you're really desiring um, a forward movement. You're really desiring some change. You're really desiring some progression. Let's move forward. There's a movement forward here. This is about you speaking out and really fulfilling your expectations identifying what you want even if you don't know how far that's going to take you even if you're not sure what that is it's about really willing this change manifesting something new it really is about manifesting for you this month you've also got the nine of coins the nine of pen 
<clears throat> the King of Pentacles, goodness me, the King of Pentacles, blah, blah, blah. The King of Pentacles is really strong, really grounded. There's opportunities here. There's success here. This is whatever you choose to take on in July, know that it's going to be successful, that you are going to be able to carry it through. I like this. There's real strength here in you determination knowing that your ideas will come to fruition because you've also got another king the king of swords this is really strong thinking strong communication this is about your voice giving yourself a voice speaking out speaking your truth and being confident about it where do you want to go because this designs be the architect of your reality this designs what you're bringing in what do you want what changes do you want it's about not listening to others but really following what you're wanting what you're wanting to achieve what gives you personal satisfaction are you in a job that it's you know it's like being on a treadmill same old same old same old there's got to be more to life than this what is it that you're wanting to create what is your thinking are you thinking in a positive way in a in a big way in an expansive way because that's the energy that is around you you've also got the ten of cups this brings you you know, you've got dog energy, which is loyalty, but this also brings you, um, it's important to connect with others, to communicate to others, um, communicating your ideas, but this also gives you a feeling of security and confidence, working towards and building, it's sort of, maybe it's a relationship, uh, building strong connections with family, with friends networking socializing very important because this well that's why you're doing it because there's a celebration that's coming up around you there's a celebration that's coming up around you um something that you're doing well something that you feel good about but it could also be a birthday and anniversary the birth of a child engagement um there's some celebration here don't fear endings my lovely leo don't fear endings around you It's important that you <clears throat> understand that endings bring in new beginnings. It's in endings, it's like a door that you're passing where you're crossing through, you, you're coming up to a door you, and you want to close that door because there's endings but then on the other side there's, there's a new room, there's new beginnings. That's the fool energy. Endings and new beginnings around you. You've also, with those endings, there's also needs to be a shedding of old ideas, old attitudes, old cycles, old things that are, you know, that are no longer relevant to you, are no longer necessary and are no longer needed. Making space, making room, clearing so that you can bring new things in around you. And then, of course, you've got some extra cards. So let's look at that. You've got the aid of ones. Opportunities are going to be there very much around you in July. There's going to be a lot of opportunities, but they're not opportunities that others others bring you. It's you creating those those opportunities it's you creating um, what is around you it's you creating and designing your reality a lot of opportunities it's about having faith in yourself in your voice in your uh, ability to create what you're wanting to create is it a business that you're creating what are you doing there's an ace here so there's something that you're feeling very passionate about something that's going to come about very quickly for you in July some sort of change there's movement here so whether you're moving jobs or moving location moving a movement in your life or in if you've been feeling stuck things are starting to move forward and of course there's strength here you're feeling really confident by the end of July. You're feeling really confident in moving ahead. So there's nothing standing in your way here, my lovely Leo. Absolutely nothing. I don't feel like there's a reliance on others here for this month. This is really you, what you're wanting. What do you want to create? What do you want to bring about? It's very much about your desires, what you want to do. I like that. The divine abundance. You've got acceptance. I like that. Radical acceptance. 
in the now opens the flow. Yes, you see, accepting where you are now opens the flow, allows things to come to you. Good fortune. So if you're feeling like you're walking through a desert, if you feel like, oh gosh, there's nothing here, take that first step because things will start to come about. What's that first step? Voicing, telling us, you know, mentioning to others, networking, uh, and see, and that brings opportunities to you. Start getting that energy moving. I really love that, my lovely Leo, for you. I wish you love, light and many blessings. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book that reading from there.